that's about 15, 20 yards from where I shot him. This is where I last seen him. He's going out that way. Yeah, just come across that and um, I seen him walk off there about 50 yards. Pretty crook. I've been on him for oh, three or four K, four hours. And um, I think that's the end of him. Well, it's, it's now about um, oh, 5.30 and I started the hunt at first light this morning and um, I um, took a break from looking for the, the hind that I shot two days ago and I was sitting there having a snack to eat in this little tight gully and I looked up at about 25 yards out of the dogwood this fella and another bloke was headed my way. So I had a look at the tracks and that and he had to come round there to cross this little tight V gully. And um, I thought I'll take him there. I won't pull him up because I might spook him. So he was completely broadside, just moving slow and he, I shot through the bush, dogwood, and um, he was 10 yards and the arrow got him right there came in this side, went out a little bit lower the other side and um, I've tracked him for about 4k even though the arrow passed right through and I got both parts of the arrow back I, I left the rear of the complete pass through at 10 yards and I was a bit worried about the old girl but um, she did me well. Kodiak Bear 59. 55 pound. Uh, 506 grain complete arrow. Uh, 200 grain Aztec Tusker broadhead. Um, yeah, pretty stoked. And the rut's coming on now, so we'll go and chase some fellow for a while. Pretty happy. That's him. Now I've got to cape him out, and um, I brought a head torch, so I'll be right, get back in the dark. And, um, yeah, just... I'm only 50 yards above where it's not burnt. There must have been a lightning strike here. Uh, there's still smoke just over there, I can see. But yeah, 50 yards down there, it's not burnt. And um, what a mess, what a mess. Anyway, I've got to get, get to and cape this animal out because um, he'll be going on the wall, this one, with the other 20. Thanks. Cheers.